In this video, we're gonna learn how to use the Elementor page builder with Ocean WB theme in order to make our e-commerce store looks amazing and stunning. Okay, so after installing the WooCommerce plugin, it's automatically gonna create us some pages by default. Cart checkout and shop and my account. Those are default pages that are deployed by the WooCommerce plugin. I created that store page because I'm willing to use it as a shop page. And we can hide our shop page from our menu or if you don't want to create a store page, you can leave that shop page and customize it with the Ocean WB theme. So first of all, we should be adding those pages to our menu from menu in here. And we're gonna go to appearance, then menus, and we will be having our pages. We will select them and add to our menu then we're gonna save that okay so we've got our store and i left our shop page as well in here okay so i've created three products to design our store page with and those are our three products i created them and they are all three simple products with no variables just for demonstration purpose and while we are creating our products, we should be customizing our Ocean WB theme settings in the products page. And for example, we have our product here under construction. And while we are creating our WooCommerce product, we have to consider our Ocean WB settings for the page. For main settings, we're gonna set it on full width. For content layout sidebar, we're gonna make it default. And for margins, we're gonna enable margins unlikely and then for header we're gonna disable top bar and for display header we're gonna set it on default and for main navigation menu we're gonna make it our main menu and title we're gonna leave it on default okay and after we save these settings to our products it's gonna look like that with no sidebar and it's gonna be much cleaner as you can see and you can even preview its gallery from here if you would like and and when you hover with your mouse, it's going to be zoomable product. You can see its details. And you have your category tags and description reviews. And most of these are customized through our WooCommerce. And we have our related products with sale on them. And we can add them to cart. Okay. So we have already a product in cart in here that I added before. We got one. I can add another one if I want to. Or even let's add this product to cart and now you will see that our cart including two items I added one before and now we have two items and you can view your cart and you're gonna see MacBook Pro has been added to your cart and you can view your cart from here from your products page it will be opening a view cart page okay and it's gonna look like that we have two products in here we can customize or remove any of them and we have our subtotal and total and then we can proceed to our checkout page which is going to be similar to what we saw before and this will be our checkout page you're going to see that one and it needs to be customized as well as for the cart page i already customized our cart page and i removed sidebar from our ocean wb settings having your billing details and your products and you can pay with paypal if you would like proceed to paypal or any other paying method and now let's go back to our product and let's see our woocommerce customizations from our customizer in here you're gonna see a new woocommerce added to our customizer when we install woocommerce plugin and we're gonna check that tab and you can start styling your WooCommerce settings, okay? So you can go to general and you can start customizing your detailed WooCommerce settings, either display featured image or not, cross cells count and columns. And we have menu card, we can customize our icon in here. And the count, we can choose to make it icon only, icon and card total or whatever you would like. I'm gonna leave it that way and you can choose its style to make it drop down or go to cart or even custom link you can choose your own custom link okay and instead of going to cart if you're gonna choose a custom link you then you have to insert that link in here okay and here you can choose your icon how it looks like and its design me myself i really like that one i'm gonna choose it 
and you can control its size make it like that maybe a little bit bigger and you can control its alignment from here and cart drop down styling and all those colors uh, you can go experiment with these colors it's same like we did in our footer section before and then let's go back we're gonna see archives in here and you can also do more customization either grid view or how many words you would like to show in description or maybe you would like to rearrange those elements so you've got maybe you wanna get price in here or even your title let's move for example our title in here you're gonna see it moving up above your image like that and you can customize your product entry media from here either gallery slider or featured image or image swap okay like that okay and then let's go back to our single this one for our uh, title in here we can move our title and we can put our price up if we would like so it's gonna be in here and we can get it back as it was and you can hide anything if you would like maybe quantity or product meta you're gonna hide that one let's hide our product meta if you would like and they are gone okay so let's get them back and you can choose to display related items or not like those two products we got related products and then we have our advanced styling and these basically colors you can almost customize each and every color including your price color your name your everything too many colors actually to try with if you would like to customize your woocommerce products and their colors okay so now let's go to our elementor part of this lesson when we created our store page which is that page in here i created that using elementor and it and it looks like that okay so let's see how we can use elementor to create our store page instead of using the shop page created by woocommerce so we can remove that from our menu or even delete that page if you would like and we can replace it with store or any other name you would like and you can display your products like that okay so you're gonna get advantage of that amazing page builder to create a unique and elegant store or even you can use that section within your home page or your about us page or or any other page you can insert your products everywhere in your website if you would like so it's not exclusive to your home page and shop page you can insert your products anywhere you would like and when customers wanna add that to cards you can add it from here or even they can open it in new tab or even click on the product itself it will open the product we were just customizing in our product page and I think you can guess how we created that page and let's go and see behind the scenes how we created this stunning page we can go to our elementor in here and as you can see we've got our previously designed header in here and then we have our shape divider with hex color or color code matching our header then we have our title in here inserted with some gap between and also i added two dividers those dividers one in here and one in here to add some space for our then i dragged our woocommerce widget which we added earlier WooCommerce products and if you have the brew version it's gonna be within your uh, Elementor Pro probably will appear when you install your WooCommerce plugin and then you're gonna drag your widget so you can select that widget when you add it or drag it and you can choose to select either all categories or one of the categories you created and you can add many widgets one of them for mobile phones and one of them for tablets and the other for laptops and so on okay so you can get creative with that and customizable and also you can change your card text and rows how many rows you would like or columns and so on okay and then i added that section for decoration and that section also you can go creative and add whatever you would like within your products page or even keep it clean with your products only and maybe some description or typography you would like to add as a marketing or advertising to your products okay 
So this is a great way to create a store page or even go to your home page and insert that section within your home page design or not only that section, your entire products if you would like, okay? And if you're not gonna go with the Elementor for creating your store page, you can go customize your shop page and you can go to pages and then you're gonna open a new tab for instance and let's start editing that page and you will not be able to edit with elementor because like you will get that error message for content but you can customize it for your ocean wb theme then customize it with your theme customizer okay so we've got content layout we can set it to full width if we want to get rid of our sidebar and you can enable or disable margins you can try with that if you would like and actually I can show you our uh, cart page it's like that if you like that design then we can edit page from here okay and that will take us to our dashboard and as you can see we've got uh, our content layout to full width and sidebar set to default margins enabled and header we're gonna disable top bar and display header set it to default and title we're gonna set it on default then we're gonna update our shop page and let's go view it this is how it's gonna look like a very nice and clean as well if you don't like to use a store page we can use our shop page created by the woocommerce okay and you can choose to sort it from here by average or popularity newness or high to low according to your desire or you can show them as list instead of grid you're gonna see your products listed in here okay so you can use that method if you have any issues with your elementor page builder widget though you can control these settings and customize them from your customizer as we said on our woocommerce settings okay in the woocommerce settings if you check to display featured image you're gonna see instead of zooming the featured image you choose earlier okay because some people like that instead of zooming into your image maybe you're not using a high quality image or pixelated image and also for those images we can go to our archives we can choose our default catalog view and instead of grid we can make it list if you prefer that and for our image we have product entry media we can make it instead of image swap like that we can make it with gallery slider which is gonna be showing two little arrows in here and you can slide between them okay or even you can make it on featured image and it will make our image static with no animation or sliders so it will keep your images static like that and of course you can add even more plugins for your woocommerce store for customizing the look of your store the currency and amazing adjustments so seriously guys you cannot imagine how many extensions and plugins for the woocommerce plugin it's amazing plugin and it makes your e-commerce world so easy and so up to date and also for the Elementor, I want to mention that this widget is not going to be showing when you go to preview mode in here. So don't worry about that. It will only show when you save your page and view it or while you are customizing your page. Okay, so that was our lesson for the integration of Elementor with OceanWB theme and WooCommerce for reaching amazing visuals for our e-commerce store. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. I will be more than happy to clear anything for you guys. And thank you so much for your time. I will be seeing you soon. Bye.